the United States men have never held a World Cup trophy and in the 23rd edition as hosts, the USMNT is targeting the semifinals. If the United States women's team changed their head coach after unsatisfactory results in the last World Cup, this is not the case with the USA men's team, which retained Greg Berhalter. Even though at the last World Cup, Greg Berhalter's performance with the USA was still not good because he only finished in the last 16, so why is he still maintaining his position as head coach? Moreover, in the 2026 World Cup, as hosts, the USMNT will get direct support from Americans. This can be encouraging but can also be a pressure for the players if the coach is unable to improve the player's competitive mentality. But even though Greg Berhalter is doubtful about his playing tactical intelligence, Greg Berhalter has the advantage of uniting players into a compact, all players are conducive under Greg Berhalter. Greg Berhalter is also considered successful in convincing dual nationality players to choose to join the USMNT, after previously playing with Nigeria at junior age. Can't turn a blind eye to his achievements. The arrival of Greg Berhalter resulted in winning the Nations League, winning the Gold Cup, then winning the Nations League again, and now qualifying for the Copa America. Last December, Greg Berhalter's contract as coach actually expired, but then he was chosen again to manage the USMNT until the 2026 World Cup, when the USA co-hosts with Canada and Mexico. What do you think, will last December? Greg Berhalter be able to realize the USMNT's dream of reaching at least the semifinals at the 2026 World Cup?